Well, hello again from Kingston. It's uh, been another interesting week. The coverage of the West End won't be complete because a total ban on uh, all recreational drone flights over a very large portion of the city, including the construction site on the west side, uh, was imposed to protect unspecified police operations. Nevertheless, I'll try and let you know what's been going on here and uh, let's go do that. We'll start, however, on the East End, where the most significant changes in the period have occurred. The week started dull and overcast, but that didn't prevent a great deal of gravel being delivered to Upper Gore Road, where the little skid steer vehicle played a magnificent role in sorting and levelling much of the area. The work carried over into Tuesday, with the big guns of bulldozer being deployed to shape a sidewalk and produce further levelling. Any work of this type is of course always followed up with compaction. Meanwhile, up on Highway 15, a great deal of work this week went into installing a new drainage pipe. Work included the installation of a new concrete vault, but by the end of the week there were signs that the work at this particular location was coming to a close. Work on the steel structure has been growing in pace for some time and the arrival of a new portable cabin on Monday provided additional evidence. After the first temporary decking was established on the East Lookout on the south side of the bridge, a great deal of work this week went into filling the remaining spaces. Securing each section requires getting up close and personal. Nearby, on the other end of the main steel span, work continued to place concrete slabs. Throughout the week, there was work to install the angle brackets that will support the safety sidewalk on the bridge. The work must be done particularly carefully not least of all because each of these brackets weighs between 180 and 245 pounds. Once installed, the reason why so much lumber has been landed on the deck becomes clear, as sidewalk boards are laid. And they weren't the only boards laid this week. A temporary deck was laid on the lookout platform with remarkable speed. And we're not done with the east end just yet. After some preparatory work by that versatile little skid steer, and an objective density measurement, the concrete specialist from Sousa moved in to prepare specialty curbing here on the sidewalk and in some places on Highway 15. But before we move west, let's have a quick look at the situation on the steel structure. Over in the west laydown, they installed the ballast weight on one of the two sidecars on site. The purpose of these devices is to allow work on the outside of the bridge once the causeway has been removed. Otherwise, on the west end, 
it was only possible, observing from the ground, to record the uh, concrete laying by the Gomaco on Friday, although it's certain that a great deal of work was going on on the deck, unobserved and unacknowledged. But that just leaves us more time for wildlife. So, once again, thanks for watching. I hope that's given you a good idea of this week's activity. Please remember, it's really encouraging to see people subscribe, so encourage your friends to do so. And maybe if you haven't done so already, do that. See you next week. <laughs>